I sit here today eating cheap, stale chocolates that I bought for a girl that I have a crush on. I never gave them to her, so they became mine. No one buys me chocolates. Although some talk about it, they threaten. I wallow in my self-pity and misery to the crackle and drone of a Tennessee Williams film that's playing on my VCR. He knew my pain and my mental fatigue. Tennessee knew me before I was even born. He wrote plays about my lust, my longings, my loss, my mental plunges. And here I am without a slip and without a glass of booze with ice clinking against the sides, its sweat running down my forearms. That just ain't right. I just met a man in South Carolina tonight that likes cock as much as I do. He also likes chubby girls with bangs and big asses. Too bad they're always out of reach, these neat men. Always in South Carolina or Belgium or Italy. Reminds me of magnets, set on their sides, backs together, but pushing apart. The stale chocolates are terrible, but they fit my melancholy. They're souring my stomach to match my mood. I still remember the financial strain they were last year when I bought them. I brought them home, wrapped them in pretty purple metallic paper with metal twine festooned with purple hearts that stuck out at obtuse angles. She would have loved them, but it would have told of my crush on her. I wonder if she would have kissed me on the mouth in appreciation. And if she did, would she have eaten one first, making her tongue taste of cherries and dark chocolate and that sickeningly sweet white filling? Perhaps she would have just gone home and placed the purple box in the pantry or under her bed or in the trash and chuckled and told her husband and her girlfriends about the silly thing that Alyssa did. I am queen of the crushes, but never for the right people. Never for the people that would love me back and buy me chocolates in purple foil with wild little hearts flying off of metal twine. I need an affair with a reverend. They're usually rotten to the core. It's all like concentrating on sin that does it. They're experts at it. It would probably do me good to be lashed to a hammock and fed poppy seed tea till the creep goes away. But I don't have anyone to do that for me. So, until then, I am an iguana, tied to a post at the end of its rope. Just another one of God's creatures waiting to be cut loose.